It feels more like being punched. It's like, oh, Jesus loves you, have a leaflet. Jesus loves you, have a leaflet. I think that it's more important to show love to people so they understand Jesus' love rather than the whole doom thing. I've also had people shouting at me in the streets just because of the way I look, saying that I should repent and believe, not realising I'm already a brother. <laughs> Being evangelised too by people wearing A boards and people especially saying that you're going to hell and going to a Billy Graham meeting in Derby many 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 years ago and feeling that I was um, pressurised to go out to the front and make commitments which I really didn't understand. Loud noises, loud screeching, uh, and imploring, and. Uh, kind of um, uh, over-the-top sort of uh, approach. But people feel like they, they're self-sufficient and they don't really need God. So I guess it's when the topic of us being in need of a saviour and then people that very much disagreeing with that idea. Uh, Over-enthusiastic faith-sharing weekend at college, I think, is the, the most embarrassing. When I, I went bounding up to people on the first day and went, do you know Jesus? I took a seven hour flight beside two women and as soon as we took off, they were, they were into their alcohol. Um, and I sat there reading my Bible and writing letters and they started asking questions and I tried to quickly explain and then have put my head down again. Um, and they just kept asking and asking and asking. And by the end of it, they just were arguing with me and I was just like, I didn't want this conversation anyway. <laughs> um, needless to say, when I got on my next flight, I was sat beside some nuns and I couldn't thank God enough. <laughs> I think I was on a train once trying to talk to somebody with a leaflet and um, when I left, they told me that they were a Christian. <laughs> I really don't like going on the streets and um, proclaiming, you know, just standing there and handing out leaflets. I, I just find that just so demoralising. People just throw in the leaflets, you walk down the road and they're in the bin. And For me, I think it's um, being scared of someone asking a question that you don't know the answer to, or they find um, that you come off really hard and you like a Bible bash. I do feel stumped sometimes when people simply say, there is no God. And because I'm so sure there is, and I'm a scientist, they expect me to have other answers. And I sometimes I'm simply not quick enough. It could be my age. In the past, I've tried to explain something and then someone else has tried to contradict it and tried to prove it wrong with, I don't know, science or just their own personal opinion. I think it's like usually probably at school or in class when I'm the only Christian and then like I feel like it's the whole of the class versus me. I've definitely had where people are like, oh, I don't really want to know. And then you sort of try again and yeah, I'm not interested, which is a shame. Because I'm quite a passionate person anyway, I have to kind of tone, tone it down a little bit. I think mostly that happens online when people can't really read whether you're um, judging them and you have to kind of say you know, disclaimer <laughs> I'm not judging you it's we're just having like a open conversation it's been made as something that is not good that doesn't bring good news and yet it is good news the, the the God of the universe the one who created the heavens and the earth has created me and loves me and that is just an amazing thing and evangelism should be about sharing the good that good news